We're going into a modified founder pose. Stand with your feet facing forward, legs about three feet apart. Press your body weight into the heels and pull your hips back with the knees slightly bent. As the hips pull back, pull your arms backward, palms facing up to open the chest. We're gonna hold here for 20 seconds. Time's up. So now we're going to come out of the pose for 10 seconds. Relax your body and shake out your arms. Now we're going to move back into the same pose for another 20 seconds. Time's up, so now you can return to a relaxed standing position. We're moving into pelvic circles to open up the hips. Stand on your mat with your feet hip distance apart. Start making slow circles with your pelvis in a clockwise direction. Focus on tucking the pelvis down as you complete the circles. We're going to repeat this for 30 seconds. Now we're going to switch directions, so rotate your pelvis in a counterclockwise direction. We're going to repeat here for an additional 30 seconds. Relax and come back to a standing position on your mat. We'll now be moving into a cat-cow stretch. We'll begin by coming onto the tabletop position on our mat. Taking a deep breath in, round your spine, raising it toward the ceiling, lowering your head down between your shoulders. Exhaling now, Lower your spine toward the floor, bringing your chest up toward the wall in front of you. And taking a deep breath in, we'll repeat the stretch. We're going to continue this exercise for one minute. Time's up, so return to a relaxed, seated position on your mat. We'll now be moving into a plank pose from your knees. Lie face down on your mat, 
with your hands beside your shoulders. Lift your body off the ground from your forearms and your knees, squeezing your glutes at the same time for stability. Hold here for 30 seconds. Time's up, so come down for a quick rest. And we'll now return to the plank for an additional 30 seconds. up so relax out of the exercise and return to a relaxed seated position on your mat. We'll now be moving into a supported bridge pose so you will need a block for this exercise. Lie on your back with your knees bent and the soles of your feet flat on the floor. Slide your block under your back directly under the sacrum. Your arms can be either at your sides or extended up overhead. We're going to hold here for one minute. As you relax into the stretch, keep in mind that this should be a comfortable passive position, feeling your lower back and pelvis soften. Time's up, so you can remove the block, relax, and slowly return to a relaxed seated position on your mat. We're going to roll out the upper back to release tension. Grab your foam roller and lay down on your mat with the top of your shoulders on the roller. Lift your hips and place your hands behind your head for support, bringing your body up off the mat. Slowly, Roll up and down the back, stopping at the base of your rib cage. Repeat here for one minute. Time's up, so you can come back to a relaxed, seated position on your mat. Moving into child's pose, we'll be working on stretching out the groin, shoulders, lower back, and glutes. Come onto all fours on your mat. Bring your feet together and shift your hips back, 
coming to rest on your feet. Rest your forehead on the mat, feeling the stretch in your groin and in your chest as you open up the shoulders. We're going to hold here for one minute. Now, walk your hands to the right, stretching out the side of your body. We're going to hold here for 30 seconds. Slowly, walk your hands back to center, then to the left. Hold here for 30 seconds. Slowly, ease out of the stretch, bringing yourself back to all fours, and then into a seated position. We're going to move into a dynamic hip flexion movement. Lie on your back with your legs straight. Slowly, bend your right leg and bring your knee toward the, your chest as far as you can. Pause here. Now extend your leg to the ground and repeat with the left leg. We're going to repeat this movement for one minute starting now. Time's up, so you can return to a relaxed, seated position on your mat. We'll now be moving into a figure four. Lie down flat on your back, with your knees bent and the bottoms of your feet on the floor. Bend your right knee, bringing your ankle across your left thigh. Thread your right arm through your legs and grab the back of your left thigh with both hands. You should feel the stretch in your glute. We're going to hold this side for one minute.
Time's up, so slowly begin to switch sides, bringing your right leg down and crossing your left leg over your right. Bring your right knee towards your chest and hold for one minute. Time's up, release your hands and bring your legs back to the mat. Slowly make your way to a relaxed, seated position. <laughs> 